I don't like early gooses, and I'm not buying all three of these. I think I'll take this, but I'm rolling. Okay, cool. So I could do that. We're only getting one snipe off because we only have one trumpet, but this is fine. Gonna be the creamy dust bunnies. What is the test server? It's the. I don't know what to call it. It's just the test server. Also, why are these so big? Or one of them is so big? The test server is just the game, but like they're testing potential changes. So this is the next pack that's going to come out, or at least an early version of it. We're buying this. Let's just throw it on here. I was debating whether I like, you know, combine these and play a third one, because obviously this will just become like a 3-2, which isn't that much better. Actually, yeah, 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 never mind, I do do that. Alright, send... leave it where it is. <laughs> One day they would just change the mouse to gives you an app on buy. I doubt it, because then it's just kind of a better otter. Like right now, it's... Because, you know, the benefit of an apple is you can target where it goes. It has food synergy. But, yeah. I doubt they're going to change it. Like, mouse is fine. I do like it as a buy-sell buy pet. And that is good. It's just like, for Jaboa, the fact that you only have to find apples or mice, and the you know, there's a good chance you won't find any for, like, multiple rounds in a row. It just makes the the ability super inconsistent. Anyway, let's get started on these things. Meerkat. I don't know how much I care about this. Like, I don't want to buff the goose. I know that much. Alright, I think I'd go for this. Yeah, we take the door head and I'm going to freeze an egg. Let me put that on there. And we still only have one trumpet that is getting used. Let's keep rolling. I don't want an egg. <laughs> Show me. Yay, another door head ant. Great. Ooh. I'm going to freeze that. If it like buffs one of these, then not too bad. Maybe sell the groundhog. I know it kind of ruins the tamarind, but maybe not a problem. Yeah, what I want to go for is a poison dart frog game. I tried a couple of games yesterday or this morning. can't remember exactly when. But I, I just couldn't do it. I <laughs> could not get any poison dart frog games. Literally, the, I, the first one, I was rolling really hard, and I still hadn't found any by turn 15. It was the dumbest thing. <laughs> it's like I was so surprised I was even alive. If it doesn't hit those, I'm going to feel bad, but I want to buy these anyway. Yay, it hit one. Okay. I'm going to buy the other one as well. And you know what? I think that's an excuse to keep them separate forever. And I'm going to combine next turn, because although I could get like an, a Mustox or something here, which would work with the... The build. If I find either of those next turn, then it's much better. So I'm gonna wait on that. And yeah, let's just like give it one of these. I don't think we really need to buff these up at all. Is that or I roll for another penguin? But I don't know. My experience tells me that if I did, I wouldn't find it. So I'd rather take a little bit of guaranteed value. Goose is not worth the sanity loss. I feel that. I've had one good game with a goose. Like I, I didn't even have a lemon on it. I had a. A garlic and it was on a weird other pack. It wasn't intentional, but it actually did clutch a lot of rounds because I kept going against uh, weird spammy summon junk. Like very small ones. And <laughs> it was like soloing teams. Yeah, we're buying this. Show me not this. I do think I take it because like this Tamarin's doing nothing, but But yeah, we're probably not buffing it. What I need to find is a mustox at the moment. <laughs> I mean I'll buy more of these. I don't mind trying to buff that up. Alright, so let's make that a bit bigger. We did find one. I think this is a good excuse to get rid of the goose. And then... Yeah, I'm going to leave it like this. I doubt a frontline falcon is going to work, because obviously it's in the frontline and it won't actually summon anything if it does kill something. But this basically means it's in my back slot. Ooh. That's a scary scaling team. And see you later, Tonkman. Have a good one. Change the bow's abilities to start a battle like Stego, but the amount of stat scales from the number of eaten apples. That could be very interesting, actually, if they tracked how many stat how many apples you fed it. You know what? I'd be on board with that. They'd probably have to tweak it so it wasn't quite like would that be OP? Hmm. I'm not sure, but I do like that idea. That sounds fun. Anyway, I'm not combining these. I want to keep them separate long term. Like we need to get like I want to say bananas, but I actually did have a game like this earlier, and the bananas weren't working properly. Like, what would happen is something would, um... Like, I say a slug would die, and then the doorhead ant would 
jump to the front and then the slugs would spawn behind it and it was just I, I swear it's not meant to work like that and I don't know what was up it was scary and I will I'm actually going to buy the avocado I don't care that much about the combinations unless I get them this turn so I'll buy one if I don't find a combo this turn then what we're going to do is try and find another <laughs> avocado yeah save my money there's a lot of things I want at tier 4 I'm fine just rolling for them then because like two bananas that make us a lot stronger um yeah Slug, Poison Dart Frog, lots of things. Yeah, this is great. Like, <laughs> these things are huge. Damn. Actually, a pretty close run. Stego would still be better, but you know, or something. I mean, Stego's a tier 6, though, so it's, it's fair enough. I swear in the Discord, I quite often... Or, actually, I see it more in the Reddit, but... Yeah, I see people complaining about how X is worse than Y, and it'll be like, they'll be comparing like a tier 3 to a tier 6 or something. It's like, yeah, it's it's a lower tier. You get it like so much earlier and it has worse stats. Like, it's this is how it works. Uh, yeah, so I don't want either of these. We do want bananas. We do want dart frogs and slugs. I may take mustox level up. Oh, dude. I don't care about this. If I find a white whale, then great, but I don't actually want this on my team. And I don't have to get it working either. I'd have to, I'd have to scale it very quickly. Cause like, that's just gonna be a six six. Yeah, I'm rolling that. We're not, we're not using this. All right. Well, <laughs> there's, there's slugs at least. We have something. So yeah, for now I'm just gonna get rid of both of those. We don't really want two slugs, but it'll work. And bananas for later. Perfect. All right. So we don't have onion yet. So this isn't going to jump back behind that slug, but. We're going to get a lot of triggers all the same. Ant is worse than snake. Uh, oh yeah, you okay. <laughs> I was trying to think of how to respond, but yes, I get it. Problem is most of the tier 3s to 4s in this pack are useless. I'd, I'd have to check, but... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like fully should be good, but I just... Like, whenever, whenever someone runs it against me, it's great. But when I've tried running it myself, it just doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know. I guess it's because I saw I'm only running against like these teams, like uh, you know, wolf slug stuff. So it's like, well, they're going to get the summons anyway, and then they just have a bear that like kills everything. I'm really hoping they do nerf the like snipey stuff because I feel like poison dart frog and not this cobra, but the bear. Those two are both pretty good like snipes, like probably better than they should be. But yes, uh, poison dart frog, please. I don't even know what to do with these slugs. I'd rather give them something much later, but poison dart frogs. Poison dart frogs. I am very desperate. I do not care for your muskox. I would like poison dart frogs. <laughs> oh no. I'm not freezing an oyster. I'm not freezing a slug either. We're just sending it. Alright. We tried. You have a sloth on the test server? Jay, I wish you luck. Seriously, I hope your sloth run goes well. Oh, my dudes are weak. All inked up. Man, this guy is way scarier than mine. We don't even trade with it thanks to the ink. That sucks. Poison frog should be three. Bear should be four to five. No, 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 no. Do I just go hard? Do I sell the mustox now and buy oyster and then just trust that I find the dart frog? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's, that's too much of a throw. Like, what am I, what am I even leveling this for? Like, we get like what, one three in stats. Is that it? I think. And then we get to see a tier six, but like, there's no tier sixes that really synergize with this team. Just give me the poison dart frogs. Or oh, wait, I'm gonna take a white whale. Uh, there is the dart frog. All right. So we're we're doing something now. This is so dumb. I'm freezing this, but like I can't swap out that slug for another white whale until I've already fed this one a slug. So yeah, I'm going to leave that unfrozen. I'm not going to freeze an egg plant though. <laughs> I just refuse. All right, all right. So what we need to do is we need to level this, which is very late, and then we need to give it an onion. So this isn't bad. I've seen worse. Rolled. Wait. Oh, I don't know. 
Uh, are we gonna be okay? No, that thing is very big. I mean, maybe it's not. And yeah, this, this, I don't think this worked how it was meant to. I'm not completely sure, but I, I feel like... I feel like something got messed up there. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't summon things. Alright, uh, yeah, I, I still want to roll. Okay, poison dart frog, excellent. I am looking for a slug. We've also found an onion, great. So that gives us one extra trigger, which is something, but it's not insane. I could get wolves to put in the white whale, but it's it's not as good as a slug. I want to be greedy. Which I probably can't afford to be greedy, because the build hasn't been working so far. Like, we haven't managed, you know, it took forever to find a poison dart frog. We haven't leveled it. We barely have any summons at the moment. My poor dude. Now he's not going to get an extra snipe. Okay, it's a draw. Not bad. The ant's work is intended. The slug gets spawned because there's no space in front. But when there is space, the monkey spawns in front. But I don't think it's consistent. I'll, I'll have to check, but like I swear, I swear I had a run earlier where sometimes slug dies and then, you know, dude jumps to the front like this and then slug spawn here. But then sometimes it will stay like, you know, slug dies, everything spawns there, and only when the final slug dies, these start jumping forward. Oh, it is inconsistent. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay. Uh, again, I, I do not care. I need a slug for this. I'm not even freezing, like, food for it yet, but... <laughs> it's because I want to level up stuff. Like, I need to find chocolate for this. None of this is... I don't care about any of this. Oh. Please. What, what are these teams? Alright, well, there's Slug. I'm just gonna do this. I could freeze the eggplant, maybe, just to guarantee that we have something to feed this. But this has to happen right now. And then, yeah, debating the eggplant. Our lowest tier is two, so that means I can't use uh, the pretzels. But I also do really want to give it some equipment, so I may leave that. If I can find either pita bread or tomato, probably prefer tomato, then I'd rather throw that on there. Alright. At least we can't die this turn. Maybe maybe something will happen. And this time I need to remember not to give this any more chocolates after this. Like if I'm going to level it up, I need to buy them straight from the from the whatever it is. Yeah, this is just this is just janky. We're missing out on triggers. Yeah, we're gonna take quite a bit of damage here. Alright, two two HP, I think. Uh, well there's a chocolate. I could do this. Again, it means that I can't put in any uh, equipment on it unless I find another slug, but I don't mind trying to get that leveled up. So yeah, sure. Have this. We need that to eat that right now, otherwise we're probably going to die. And we can level it up. Do I want to put an egg on this? <laughs> no. No, I don't. I, I'm just going to do this. I doubt I can swap this one out. So let's just run it like this. We did get a lot stronger this time. I'm going to leave it like this still. I could maybe swap the slug and the white whale, but... If it gets messed up, then it may be even worse for us. So I'm going to leave it how it is for now. What does Cuttlefish do? It's like the squid, so... I can't remember the... Oh, that's bad. I... Actually, no, it's not bad. That's fine. <laughs> I can't remember the exact numbers, but... Oh, God. Hold on, I'm just making sure we're fine, and I think we are. So it's, it's like when it dies, it reduces the attack of the few things in front of it, depending on its level. Don't you need onion on whale now? No? No, whale can be there. Because the idea is when when all the slug stuff is dead, then the front door head ant jumps to the front, and then that dies, summons a monkey, then that dies, then the other door head ant jumps to the front. And then when this is finally at the front, there's nothing to, you know, to jump in front of it or get summoned there. Then the onion makes that jump behind the white whale. So this this works fine, I think. I do need to get like something on the slug though, like, you know, tomato probably. So let's see if we can level this again. Love to see that. So we get it immediately, okay. Alright, I am also now going to update, or well, upgrade the ant a bit, because we basically have the build now, and it's going to be very hard to upgrade something, and it's not really worth that much, but I don't mind this. It's like buying a pair, almost. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to put something on here, but, like, I, again, I'd have to freeze a slug. It's kind of scary. 
Your brain is too small for these plays. Oh god, no. Uh... Actually, no, that only gets two triggers, so we do get a lot of snipes in. I forgot, that's not infinite anymore. <laughs> I saw a clip on Reddit when someone did that, and it was just... It was just insane. Like, it didn't stop, and it was actually, like, infinite if they went against the team without, like, you know, one-shotting the front line. Uh, but yeah, let's upgrade this anyway. Don't care. The issue here is we're not actually getting stronger. Like, leveling doesn't really do that much. I could do this, but I still don't care. Uh, <laughs> my slugs. I mean, this is an excuse to, like, keep that frozen and give this some equipment. I'm debating using the chocolates, but I don't think I do. Like, I doubt I'm going to get the white level, the white whale leveled up, and if I do it, I can't really do it with chocolates, so... Yeah, I'm going to roll that. We need to roll. I want to find, like, two tomatoes so I can throw one on there and one on there. I will take, like, pita bread or something, though. Just give me something. Something I can use, please. You were going to say mushroom, but this is the gold pack, isn't it? Yeah, this is just the regular pack, so... Can't do that, sadly. So I'm doing catfish penguin scale. Mm, they don't have a lot of stats, though, so I think we're okay. Yeah, like, this thing just hits so hard. Like, we die if this thing gets sniped. Like, then we just have, like, nothing on the team. <laughs> a 12 damage snipe every time something dies and we get, like, 10 of those off. Like, that's that's amazing. Alright, so I do this. Like, that's good equipment for the white whale and... Yeah. Eat the slug again. Alright, so we continue. Like, do I freeze this? I'm not really looking for any... I don't know. I'm going to freeze it. We're not looking for anything else here. Like, I'm not going to replace that equipment anymore. So, like, maybe if I find three of these next turn, I do just, like, buy them all. But, yeah. I know I said I'd maybe buy this, but it doesn't do anything. That's a six damage protection. Like, what we need is uh, tomato again. We just need another snipe. I could do this to make it eat itself. Sure, freeze. If we can get, like, one of them, then maybe. Another tomato. Excellent. Alright, send it again. We just need to not go against a similar team. The title says it's custom packs, though. No one told me, and I forgot. Alright. Playing. I don't know. Hanging around on the test server. But thank you for telling me. Alright, how's this going? Uh, it's going okay. Alright, something got messed up there, clearly, but... <laughs> didn't die, so I'll take it. So yeah, give that to you. I could even, like, give it the chocolate cake instead, but I, I don't think it's worth it. Like, even if it's the last turn, I don't want to take that risk. And, yeah. Leave those frozen, but I'm not buying. <laughs> like, like, do I buy them? It's better... I don't know, the only good thing is an eggplant, and that's not that likely to show up. And it's not that good. I'm just gonna, like, try and upgrade something. Let me throw them here. Play these. And maybe not the smartest way, actually, because I'm less likely to be able to level this up than I am the slug, because I can't use chocolate on this. Well, I, I guess I do have slugs frozen, so I could. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Ignore me. It's fine. Cobra killed the frog, sadly, and then the onion triggered. I did see... I did see the frog dying. I don't know what happened up to that point, but it seemed like... Oh, we might be dead, unless we get lucky with this. Nope. All right, I think we're dead. <laughs> they killed my frog, and they have a, a big frog and a grizzly, so yeah, we're dead. All right, sad. We tried. Nine trophies, though. Still a pretty good run. All right, hold on. Prediction, yours. So we're in the entirety of sat pets. There is only one that directly depletes the enemy's attack. I can't think of any. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. Full gold team win. Is it even, like, good on this this thing? Like, it can't be, right? Oh, well, I mean, there is the millionaires. <laughs> Maybe this is the run. There's no way a full gold team is actually worth it. Like, you need the synergy stuff with it, unless you have, like, a lot of um, stat food to buy to scale. Otherwise, just having lots of money doesn't really do anything. Try Yak Silk Moth. Where is Silk Moth? Oh, I can see that. 
Okay, so this is kind of like a koala then. <laughs> In that sense, yeah. Dude, this is just like a better koala. What? I don't think it's very good, but like, it's something. I'm just gonna roll twice. If I find one of these, I like combine next turn. Oh. Never mind. We'd be buying this anyway, so I'm just gonna combine these because they're really not that good. I'll have another 2 2. Alright. There's a tier 5 that gets plus 1 plus 1 for every gold thingy. That's not a gold thing, though. Like, I thought you meant like only gold generators. Because otherwise, you could just have like a full team of. Um, what are they called? You know, the new birds, the black on the black ones, and <laughs> just cool, that's a gold build. Alright, so we have two combos. I like it. Surgeon fish, I don't like it. I I kinda like it again. Okay. <laughs> Let's take both of these. And I'm almost tempted to sell something to take a cherry, but I don't think that's worth anything. So you definitely need to be behind the guinea pal, which kinda sucks, but yeah. Maybe let that get buffed up, assuming we do get a trigger out of this. Fine, fine, we go. We can try. It's almost as if there was a guy who had a game with four birds of paradise. I know, but I didn't call that a money build. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's not like they were all money generators. It was a good build, but it's not like, you know. I'm not claiming anything. I'm just saying it was what it was. I don't want any of this. I could do this, but th again, there's not enough early snipers, and this just isn't that good. I don't know. Maybe that is the play. Like, you just try and buff up a really massive goose and give it a blueberry and just let that, like, soak up all the grizzly and poison dart frog damage. The only issue is they do so much damage that it would still kill the goose before it can start regening its health. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think we bother. Uh, I want to buy that next turn. I'm just going to buy this anyway. If I'm rolling, I'm not really rolling for anything, so... Let's just throw that somewhere close to the back. See what happens. I haven't watched that for a month or two, and now you have no idea what's happening. It's the test server. Yeah, there's new stuff out. The next pack... I'm hoping it comes out soon. But who knows when it's actually going to come out. But yeah, it's, it's currently in testing. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of new pets, new hats, uh, entrance animations, all sorts of things. Alright, well, we do have a bit of a build going. And that is a faint pet, but there's also two faint pets here, so... I'm gonna roll once, see if we can reduce the number of faint pets. And we did, alright. <laughs> it's safe. We now have this. I'd love a way to buff the guinea fowl, but yeah, we don't have that at the moment. Let's try. Good freezer. I could like I could buy that and try to chocolate cake it in the future. But it's probably a lot of effort. I'm debating whether I sell the goose for a baboon right now. Because then I can like buff up one of these. If it is the guinea fowl, it's really good for us. I think we take the scaling, honestly. Like goose is fine. Like that was a pretty good goose. It was level two, but Yeah, there we go. That was good. That was very good for us. Oh yeah, new trumpets, yes. <laughs> there is a new... I don't know what you call this. An ability? Synergy thing? It's, it's kind of like strawberries. But yeah. And trumpet game? It's looking like it, yeah. Because from our three level ups, we got trumpet things. I still don't care about you. You're on the team, but I don't... I don't want you here. You're just kind of big, so I can't get rid of you yet. Alright, uh, I much prefer the Nyala than the stuff of the next tier. Like, Raiji, oh no, I don't know. The Vaquit is pretty good. Psych Antelope is amazing, but I feel like it's best when you have like a ton of spammy summons, and I don't want another build like that. I'd rather wait. Uh, but I do think I combine now, because the other option is sell the Magpie. But, like, Magpie is just kind of like Avocado, but better value, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is combined, see what we get. Yeah, we don't need that. It's fine then. Uh, question, do I buy avocado and then roll twice? Or once, I guess. So then we can save more money with the magpie and then we get like 14 gold next turn. I think that's fine. Like, unless I find guinea fowl level up, then I don't really care. That's it, right? Yeah. Alright. We'll just do that then. Put that there, too. Maybe stingray. 
I mean, Stingray is fine. When I'm doing these, when I'm on this pack, I try and like keep stuff together, I suppose. Like, you know, if I'm going for a certain type of build, I'd rather, I'd rather try and stick with that, like through the whole thing. You're a big fan of the Falcon. I mean, it does seem pretty good. We definitely want this. I could maybe sell the Magpie. I'm kind of tempted to get double Baboon because I'd all hit the Vaquita. <laughs> and we are on like flawless at the moment. So I could maybe sell Magpie, buy a Baboon, stack this, and then we get like lots of stats on here. It's not too bad. Let's try it. All right. Oh, dude, level up. Okay. Uh, Crane, also pretty good. It isn't this stuff, but it is pretty good. So I think we do take that. Uh, yeah, nothing here. Alright, fine. Yeah, so that's gonna get hit. We're not scaling the guinea pal anymore. I'd love to find something that isn't this to generate our initial trumpets, because it's very inconsistent. If that gets one shot, which it almost, which it does, <laughs> then we don't get any trumpets. Yeah, like, everything got one shot. Even the crane didn't get to use its ability. You've seen an insane elephant guinea pal game recently? Oh, I wanted to try that. That was my first thought when I saw the guinea pal. But I haven't made many custom packs yet. Anyway, I don't know what to do with any of these. Nothing. That's what I do. Alright. Uh, we buy this now. Like, it may not save us, because again, if this insta dies, then we don't get anything, but... I don't know. If I don't get the Highland Cow from the upgrade, then I think we're just kind of screwed. If we find a Nyala now, then it kind of saves the run. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. That doesn't do that much. And I wish I could chocolate cake banana this turn. I'd probably do it, but... Yeah, let's, let's keep rolling. Avocado. I, I really do need to roll next turn, so I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine taking that. Alright, so this gets buffed again. It's actually going to be pretty survivable, I'm hoping. So I'm hoping the crane does get one pop-off. What about magpie T-Rex? Assuming they do work together, then I'd be interested to see it. And again, they insta-killed my front line. Okay, thankfully we actually win. Oh, and hydration. Thank you for the reminder. Okay. Okay. Uh, we need an Ayala. I need to get rid of... I don't know. This is going to be buffing the crane, but I don't know how much I care about that. I think we do try and replace this with a Nyala, though. And we found it immediately. I'm not I'm not doing anything with a certain fish. <laughs> like, it can stay on the team for now, but, like, your days are numbered. You'll be gone soon. Oh, oysters. Do I just level the Nyala? Where's the crane's hat? Oh, that's a very good point. Oh, it's on its wing. It's like it's it's like perfectly hidden by the level. <laughs> that was a great point. Thank you for pointing that out. All right, I think we try and pump this. If we can get that leveled up, then this is going to pop off a lot for us, and we won't have to worry anymore. Dude. Dudes, okay, this might be my first Highland Cow game. I haven't used this before, but I also don't know how to scale it. And I know there's a sea lion here, but I don't know if that's <laughs> I don't know if that's the play. All right. Uh, hmm. Actually. Wait. Oh, God. If I... I was going to say, maybe I should have sold the crane and played this. Because then the baboon would definitely hit the Nyala. And then we could use the, like, surgeon fish on here, but it's not start to battle, so maybe that's pointless. On oh, pirate hats? Wait. Oh, yeah, there is a pirate hat redeem. All right. Let's do that. Where are we? There we go. Stop. I hate it. Where are we? You don't have Baboon in pack to scale it? What? I I don't know. Oh, I guess. That's off, that's off HP, though. Like, surely 2 HP a turn isn't incredible. I can't sell this this turn, though. I really hope it's the Nyala, but if I'd sell that, then we might just die. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty happy to leave things out of the hour for now. And yeah, it did hit that. Good. <clears throat> Put the crane in the leftmost spot so the golden retriever can get melon. Nah, I'm fine with it hitting this. This is still great for us. Like, I'm, I'm more afraid of this dying to, like, random snipes and stuff. Like, I may even, like, throw that further back just to 
<laughs> make sure the, you know, the stuff, the, the heavy hitter stuff is at the front and stuff is less likely to die to random, like, you know, bear or poison dart frog stings. Uh, this is where we get, like, confused, though, because, like, do I get rid of the surgeon fish? Like, we do get some trumpets, but also this eating the trumpets is kind of ruining the, the quitter as well. Crane would just waste a melon on the pet before instead of the retriever. I, I don't understand. I don't know what that means. What does the Dory from Finding Nemo do? Uh, it spends trumpets and gives buffs. So normally it spends two and gives plus three, plus three when it dies to the thing behind. Uh, but yeah, we leveled this up to level two. I do think I get rid of it now though, because it's not... I'm not loving it. It won't get scaled by the baboon yet, but I want this on the team. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather have more trumpets for the Vaquita than than the other way around. And yeah, your days are numbered. I don't know if you're staying on the team. So I could maybe buy an eggplant. We do have a lot of like fairly high tier stuff though, so I could maybe sell the baboon and go pretzel scaling later. Even a pretzel is like, it's better than the eggplant, so. And you're soft, hello. I'm leaving this, we're rolling. I want like chocolates or something. Show me like a level up for this while I, <laughs> while I can afford to wait. Uh, yeah, no, not this, not that. Lots of chocolate cake, but no chocolate. Oops. All right. Uh, so yeah, now we don't have the surgeon fish, so I could maybe try throwing it to the back. Mm, fine, I'll try it. <laughs> For this one, I'll try. I don't like that. Like, we don't want to keep the crane. What's my favorite sound of the new pets? No idea. I don't remember any of the sounds. Uh, this looks scary. No, I, I think our guy's gonna punch through everything. What does the Highland Cow do? It gives you trumpets based on its HP, so you really need to start scaling it, and leveling it up is great. But yeah, start a battle, game one trumpet for every two HP this has, so... Basically, by default, it's the same as the Nyala. But you can scale it higher and get even more, so definitely worth trying to do. I can't get a Warthog. <laughs> if it was really big, I'd be tempted to like make it really big and then pill it or something, but... Blurring Doctopus. I, it's, that's not enough for scaling though, right? I don't know what to scale for, but like... I was thinking this. Just because it's like consistent. Hmm. I just want to level up before anything, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> hmm, I could maybe get rid of the baboon and then swap in another Vaquitter or something. I don't know, maybe I just pretzel it. If I sell the baboon, we do get an extra plus one plus one there. I don't know, I don't think I do though. I think I just buy the plus three plus three and then like roll. Unless I just roll for the level up because that'd be so much better. <laughs> I'm just rolling it. Alright, nothing... Still, not things I really care about. Pit Red's okay, but it's not that good. Alright. Sell Baboon, another thingy. I don't know what you're recommending that I sell it for, though. And also, the one It's <laughs> scum. Uh... I'm gonna be okay. Huh? It's very big. Nyala Ribbon. I don't, it's, it's the test server. I don't care about getting ribbons. Like, I'll go for them if it's, like, not going to ruin a fun build or something, but... I, I don't know. Like, this isn't sustainable at the moment. Like, we're not getting stronger, and I don't know how to. Ideally, it would be doing something with the Highland Cow, but I can't even level it up. And I need a way to scale it, so now I'm not really... I'm not sure how we're going to do that either. Okay, look, there's this guy, then. So I think we can get rid of the baboon, then. Uh, I probably do buy a pretzel, because now that is going to be 4-4 buff. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, avocados are good with the Bird of Paradise. Because it's effectively a 1 gold, but 3 gold on its trigger. Hmm. Sure, I'll buy one of those. Maybe get to roll once. And pretzel, sure. <laughs> I really need this level up, but maybe it'll do for now. Isn't pit bread just like coconuts? It is on a 50-50, but also not quite as good, because it can still take damage if um my my words aren't working if you do more than 50 damage it can you know it won't protect it 
So there are situations where it won't be quite as good, but yeah, it's, it's very strong. What does the pretzel do? It gives you plus one, plus one on the targeted pet for every... Uh, yeah, just read it. <laughs> one, one, multiplied by lowest tier on your team. So it's, it's just a consistent scaling thing for this, I suppose. I'd much rather get it leveled up. And honestly, it's probably close enough that I can do this now and not feel bad. All right. Yeah. All right. Have a bit of bread. Uh, I still don't know what to do with this crane. <laughs> like I, I don't know if I'm getting rid of it. My idea was to have like multiple birds of paradise and maybe get rid of the Nihala and scale like that. But the crane obviously has been working, but I just want to scale this so quickly. Maybe I get, maybe I do get rid of the Nihala. Nah, that's, that's such a meme. All right, let's just keep everything. I don't want to throw this this run. <laughs> We're never going to get this leveled up. Okay. If you have more than 20 attack, bitter is just better melon. Sure, but if you have less than 20 attack, it's worse melon. So, <laughs> it depends. Yeah. Okay, we are fine, but that's what I'm scared of. Like, going against sniper teams and it, like... Killing your thing before other things can happen. Obviously, it actually hasn't happened so far. We have been against sniper teams, but they haven't... They haven't had great luck against us, to be honest. <laughs> I just can't tell. Like, can I get rid of the Nihala? At some point, we'll be able to get to, like, 50 just with these two. But that's only if we can scale. Because like, if I get this thing to, like, near 50-50, then that thing will generate, like, 25 trumpets by itself. And then we'll get 25 more just from this, and we don't need the Nihala. I really want to buy sell the oyster, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I can, like, end on another crane as well. Let's just go. All right. But now, what, what am I doing? I meant to buy sell this. That was, like, the whole point. All right. Dude, am I... Am I going to try and level this? I mean, it's good for now, at least. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Now, I can leave everything where it is and think that's fine. Okay. Nyala Betrayal. It wasn't doing anything. If we got to the stage where this thing was big enough, then it would just... We'd be wasting trumpets, because we're not spending anything. We're just, like, letting it cap out at 50, and then <laughs> continue to, like, scale it faster. Yeah, there we go. So funny that Crane basically turned... Oh, hold on, we won. Okay. <laughs> GG, I suppose. So funny the crane basically turns ant garbage tier one that you bought through the whole game. I can't, I don't know. Into a reindeer, which is tier six. I, I genuinely feel like it's better than a reindeer. Because like it is reindeer, but you can put it on something with an ability. Like I had a game recently where I had a crane with I think it was a level three octopus, maybe level two. But like the fact that you can just like regenerate very useful equipment on something that is that strong already is just like it's insane. Obviously, you do have to have it behind it, so you can't also combo in, like, a tiger or something, but... Yeah, good stuff. Hold on, let me pay out the prediction. <laughs> Why is it 98% believer? Alright, well... Good job, guys. Thank you for the believing. Alright, where are we at? we got 20 more minutes, so that's probably two more. But if the guy in front gets insta-killed... Yeah, but if he's, like, a 50-50 and has equipment already, then it's very unlikely to happen. He's like, you know... What happens if a reindeer gets insta-killed? It's the same thing. <laughs> like, you know, the downsides are the same, really. In this case, it's just a case of, um, you have two things, so, like, if you rely on the combo, then it's twice as likely they can just get, like, sniped away, because either one of them has to die for it to break. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna take a possum. I don't like magpie or the tamarind very much. And I'll take these, I suppose. And let's be the bubbling jokers. I'll let you bet down so I can get paid. I would if I could. Can you please try the Yak Silk Moth in a custom at some point? Let me make a note of it. Yak Silk. Uh, what, what are our ideas were there today? Yak Silk, Jaboa, Catfish, Mouse. Have you been always on test server? I think so, yeah. We've had enough people for them recently, but... Who knows? If there's not a lot of people, maybe. Maybe not, I mean. <laughs> Alright. I think I do take these just for the sake of combo chance. And yeah, we got one. Nice. 
All right, send it like this. I'm going to leave the possum. I don't care too much about it. And I always feel like I sell it and I never actually use the thing that it ends up buffing up. Buffing up. Either that or I just don't care about the extra stats it gave. And that was pointless. If that had sniped like anything else, I think we may have had a... A draw there. Uh, double stouts. That's pretty tempting. And a flying fish. Oh, I'm in. Alright, so I can sell the possum. We buff up a stout or stoats. I don't know what it is. Alright, so what have you got? Am I dumb? Oh, it's a cell pet, it's not a... yeah, whatever. Whatever, I thought it was a... Yeah. We don't care about this. Uh, we don't care about that either. I'm wondering whether I take a lizard. It's kind of nice with flying fish. Let's try it. I never go lizards. Let's see if we can make that work. Okay, throw those a little bit further forward. Next turn, I think we sell the groundhog by lizard. Actually, no, I probably sell the chipmunk first, because we do have a bit of a synergy with the tamarind. Yeah. Oh, shit. That is <laughs> scary. Actually got countered by geese. View lobbies on the test server equals bear, bear, bear. I, are you new to the view lobbies? We always have rules. Like, I'm, I, yeah, I'm not going to do bear only view lobby. There will be no bears, probably. All right, so yeah, we're buffing this up. Hopefully that's, like large enough so it won't get insta-killed by anything. Uh, I want to roll. I want to find more lizards. Because like, I want to buy that next turn so we get to tier 4. These obviously are good. Like I probably swap out the tamarind and the groundhog just to like a sea urchin and some other random thing. But <laughs> I don't want to. Not like this. Okay, you know what? Yeah, groundhog, you're done. I'm going to throw these two in. And... I'm going to keep rolling. If we can find one more of these, that'd be great. Honestly, Penguin's pretty tempting, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to send it like this then. Hopefully these break through the uh, scary things, and then we'll actually be able to summon some tails. Oh, that's looking pretty good for me. Those trades were amazing, but we didn't actually get to use the tails. Dog only viewer lobby? Maybe. I don't think we've done that yet, right? You know, on the uh, test server, I mean. And bears only, on all the different bears. There's only like two, right? Like there's regular bear and grizzly. Oh, no, there's polar bear as well. Maybe then. Can we do normal view lobbies with golden pack? I like doing meme view lobbies, like themed ones. Yeah, so I'm buying that separately. I don't care about the quitter. I probably do take cuttlefish, though, just because it's here and quite large. Yeah, we don't have any trumpets, so I can't be bothered with this. Let's just, like, roll. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, how can I get a lizard game to work? And also, can you even... Hold on. Is there a way to get a lizard tail in this pack? Because, like, there aren't pills. There's no sort of, like, hedgehog badger thing. But I'm wondering if there is an equivalent. Now, I know that's kind of a pill, but... Is ink just better micro weakness? I think it's worse micro inkness. I feel like there's less of a combo for it, but it, it depends. They're the same thing. Just one affects HP and one affects attack. Put cuttlefish in front of lizard. What you mean, like directly in front? Oh, I see that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I was scared because I don't like having that right to the front, but this works. I'm just gonna leave everything here. I think lizard tail only in customs. We actually did that last stream. I'd be more than happy to do it again. We've had like two kind of similar to that. We've had one that was literally only. Oh no no! I don't think we did lizard tail only. I think we did um only lizard tails and the smaller slugs. So there were like three options. There was like smaller slug, smaller slug, and lizard tail. Okay, so that's not really gonna buff anything yet. We can definitely get rid of this though. Above, above this, and then that next turn. But like, I don't think it's worth it. I don't know whether I buy sell penguin and just hope it hits like these two. This one obviously doesn't need the stats because I'm going to be selling it the second we're at either tier five or tier six. Haven't decided yet, but I'd love to <laughs> level it up again before then if I can afford to. I only have one of these. No, I'm not buying more of these. I could take a better fish and then chocolate cake it next turn. It's, it's slightly better than this. I'm going to do it like that and just hope that this kind of works. Because we get to make the lizard quite a bit bigger. Do I... Wait. I don't know whether I try and level the flying fish. 
Stealth only when? Probably never. It's it's very bad. Lizard Tail is only in customs. Ah. Gold pet's only viewer lobby. No, it, we've tried that before, and it's, it's too hard to decide what is and isn't a gold pet, because basically everything interacts with gold in some way. And then we just end up with lots of cheaters, and, you know, not, not intentional cheaters is what I mean. Which is worse. No! <laughs> Don't weakness this. Damn, we're not going to get any summons out of it. Oh, we did, because he summoned a 1-1! One, one. Perfect. Do baboon only. No, I'll do primate only before we do baboon only. I don't want these things. I want to level up my lizard. And I, I don't want this either, but it's probably the only way to make the lizard viable. I know there is the turtle somewhere. It's actually only a tier 2, but it only buffs HP. Like, are there better things for summoning? Like, there's this dog. I don't know if that's it. <laughs> either way, I don't think I want these things. I think we're fine. Uh, yeah, we don't have a waffle, but I can chocolate cake that and feel great, so see you next time. And then... Oh yeah, we're buying more, alright. Alright, perfect. Let's go. I don't think I'm going to bother trying to level up the stoat. I think we just leave that as level 2 and then get a quick... Get a quick level 2, um, tier 6 whenever we can. 3 squad only could be fun. I agree, but I can't... Guys, I can't keep up with stuff now. <laughs> we'll be doing it in like 10 minutes. Save your suggestions for then. Sea turtle. We only have one summoner and it's not summoning amazing things. <laughs> I don't know. Just let me buy, buy, sell some oysters. Give me free rolls. Or maybe I take another one of these and I... Try and find another chocolate. <laughs> it's so expensive though. It's a 6 gold 3-3. Three, three. Uh, but I'm really not looking for that much. Like, let's roll for a lizard. If I can find that, then I love it. Oh, thank you, thank you, game. All right, so now we can run it like this. Uh, yeah, you're not getting to the next tier. I think. I'm more worried that I'm going to die because we don't have any of the broken synergies that are in this pack. <laughs> this is this is definitely the stage where everyone starts running like, you know, some sort of summon spam or, you know, a good trumpet game. I don't think I can get that to the next tier. I may just have to sell it at the start of next turn, so I think I'll leave that. Love having TV shows being on the same, the same day as the best streamer ever. I don't really watch TV anymore. I appreciate it, by the way, unless you're about to, <laughs> to hit me with a JK thing. All you need is two wins. What do you mean? Oh, for Believer, right. Uh, I can do this. It's not that bad. I need to buy something so I can combine these, so I guess I will just like, do this. Alright, what do you have? Alright, a <laughs> friend faints. If it has a faint ability, activate it one more time. I don't know if that's going to work with this, because it's not going to do the like level 2 ability where it says, like, give to the two closest enemies ink. It's just going to, like, give ink to the first thing twice, I think. So I think we probably have to leave that. Can't wait for the sap. The sap to release auto April Fool's update with photorealistic animal pictures. Oh god, who was it? I think it was Nutic. I think Nutic made, like, a little video about something like that. He made, like, a fake Super Auto Pets fight, and it was all just, like, real animal animations. It was, it was creepy. Uh... But yeah, I, I, this just doesn't do anything. It's kind of big, and that's tempting to buy it just for that. But there are tier 5s that would save us more. Okay, you know what? I think... I think we'll probably take the Nyala, to be honest. I think that is pretty good. A wolf would be the best thing just to have on the team. I'd love a blue ring doctor because it's good scaling. Oh, the crane's good as well, though. No, they're good things. I'm going to leave the flying fish. Like, the level up's... Fine. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Uh, the question is whether I combine them, but I don't think I do. I think I'll leave it like this. And I still don't know what to do with that. I'm getting greedy. I want to <laughs> try and get a tier 6. Gotta wish ink goes on the closest enemy pet without ink ink. Oh, so it would have worked then. Oh, maybe. 
almost died. And we die, because... Unless we're on three. We are on three. Okay, I thought I might have been on two there. Uh, well, now I need to buy something so I can combine. Do I buy a lettuce even though it hits nothing? <laughs> Obviously, I buy a bacon before that, but... Oh. Okay, we just do both of this. I can buy both of those, combine those, and then we can do something there. Yeah, all right, well, I guess I look at this one first because I can afford it. We don't have any summons. We have one summon, and it's not even guaranteed. It, it could be more than one, but I doubt we're going to get more than one. So, yeah. And I can do this. I think it's, like, the same size, right? So it did, like, nothing. Yep. <laughs> Alright, Cobra. Again, we don't have a way to do anything. Like, I could maybe throw it behind here, but I don't know if that does that much. Alright, we'll try it. I'm pretty ready for this to explode, though. This could easily be the end. You got 10k bulls, sell it. No! <laughs> Buy the bear. Bear would literally do nothing. Oh, and again, unless it's broken. I can't remember. I, I can't remember what the breaks are at the moment. Try Vulture Cuttlefish. Now nah, we we're on the Golden Pack. And yeah, <laughs> four trophies. Finally a Doubter game. You earned it. Hold on. Alright. Dude, that was a big Believer game as well. So, <laughs> congrats, Doubters. Chocolate cake is actually good if you're on 10. If you're on 9 wins. Sort of. The thing is, like, getting a pet to level, like, you know, level 3 for a fight isn't terrible. But at the same time, giving it, like, really good equipment can also be really good. And obviously it replaces equipment, so... I don't know. <laughs> like, it can be good, but at the same time, if you can, like, protect it from, like, 50 damage, then... Maybe buy a pit of bread instead, I don't know. Can't doubt with the new life lost and... Staying at 6 wins. Uh, true. The game is definitely easier since they changed the life system. Yeah, anyway, it's it's like roughly 8 o'clock. I think I may take a quick break. And then when I get back... Yeah, and then when I get back, we'll do the view lobbies.